Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. We're doing an evening market review. Twilight review, we should call this. And as the sun is setting on the horizon in the city of New York, I am reviewing the market. Do you know my favorite time of day is right now? My favorite time of day? When there's lights on in the buildings. I'm just going to describe to you because you can't see it right now. But the lights are on, are starting to come on in the buildings, and the sun is setting. And every once in a while, you see like a rainbow or like the sky, and it looks amazing. And this is my favorite time of the day. It's called dusk. 7.15, and you can tell that fall is near. Why? It's getting darker earlier. And there's nothing I can do about it. But this is the life in New York. We have four seasons. Now let's get to the market. The reason for the video. Guess what? My prediction is that the market gaps up tomorrow over 200, which it is so close to doing. It's so close to doing it, it's going to do it in the gap tomorrow morning by 9.30. By the time the market opens, the market will gap up over 200, which is the number that I said we have to get up on above over in order to proceed higher and have the continuous rally. Let's just take a look at it. Actually, let me just situate this here a couple. I had some problems with my charts today and it was stressing me out. I hope they're fixed by tomorrow, actually. So I decided to do a review of the SPY instead of the QQQs because the SPY chart is actually the leader here. <clears throat> Why is that? Because the rally in the SPY had gone greater and bigger and higher and the SPY had made new highs and the Qs had not and then the drop off in the SPY was bigger than the QQQs. So I want to look at this chart here. doing this tonight. Yep, and there it is. Perfect. I really think we gap up over 200 tomorrow. I, I, it's just like no chance of failure. <laughs> NCOF, the market gaps up over $200 tomorrow. Look at that. I mean, it will either open over 200 or rally in the pre-market over 200, but either way, it's significant. The significance is the number. And as you see here, what is this area? This is the area that the market needs to get on up on through and give the confirmation that it's higher, even though I know it's higher. And I knew it was higher even on the gap down day here on August 24th. And how did I know that? I will tell you how I know that. Because the market opened this day and swooshed and negated the swoosh and rallied to some crazy number. High of the day was 197.47. Low is 182.40? That's actually insane. <laughs> Look at the volume of the market that day. You can see the square. 507, 244, If you ever, what would that amount of money look like? If we actually piled that amount of money in dollars instead of shares, oh God, it would just bathe in the money. All right, let's go back to the market. I made an amazing call in the trading room today, and guess what I said? You can go along the market today and today, and I called it, and I called it, and I was conservative with the stock, but I called the market long today. It was an amazing call, and some people did it. Every once in a while, I question myself and say, why am I not a billionaire yet? And yet, I'm not. <laughs> However, I know that I'm on my way to be there. Why? Because I can make calls that are almost like unbelievable. Like the call I made in the market to be rally today and to go long today was unbelievable. Why? Because the market gap in a weird way. But yet I saw it. Saw it. I I just I saw it. I saw it in the gap. I just sometimes I. I honestly like I teach a golden gap class and in the class I teach a twenty six points and if you rate the gap and it rates twenty points or more you do it in the direction of the gap. That's a fact. But if you're in the live trading room with me, you get so much more because i got to tell you that actually I have no idea sometimes why I make calls I do, but they are they are like calls that no one on the planet would make but me, and then they end up being true. Like the day the market gapped down hugely on August 24th, I called the market that was higher, and that was that. 
and we weren't actually lower and everybody in the world thought we were going to collapse into infinity and beyond and i said no and if i had been on television at that time i would have become a superstar and a millionaire right then and a billionaire let's go look at the market Okay, here's the close of today. <laughs> I, I don't know what I saw. It's weird. I think it's like I said, one minute. I, I, I don't even know what I saw, but I called the market long today and I gave the call like in the first 10 minutes of the day and people went long the market. It went, it went to the dream target. It's crazy. <clears throat> Look, you could have even added here at one o'clock. But let me get back to this. The gist of the story here is that you train your brain to do the right thing in reference to trading and reading price action. That's how I'm able to make these calls. It seemed like unbelievable. Let's go over it. Market, well, here, hold on. Let's look at the pre-market. I don't know what I saw, but I didn't call the market long till right in here at around 10 o'clock. And I gave a cushion for the stop. And if you did this, you were in the you were in it long all day. And it went to the target and beyond into the dream target. I did not call the market long until here. So it was a great call. And I was conservative with the stop. I gave it a 15 penny cushion. But I'm just trying to go back and see what I saw in this gap. I, I, I have no idea. I just... I guess I just knew we were higher. <laughs> I mean, in the morning I get up and I watch the market when I'm scanning for gaps and I flip back and forth and I watch the market as I'm scanning, looking to see what the market's going to do. But I will tell you the market actually gapped up today. Not every gap up is a long, not every gap down is a short. But I did call the market today as long, and it was a long, and it did play out. And those are the people that took the call I made to the market today long actually ended up having a huge day because the market went past the target and went to the dream target of the day. My call for the market here is that it gaps up tomorrow morning to 200 or trades over 200 in the pre-market tomorrow, in which case it's giving the confirmation that, in fact, the market's higher. The target then would be 204, 205, 207 is a dream target for the SPY. And once we get up over that number of 200, which I've been saying for the last few days or two weeks since we've collapsed, the fact is that there's no looking back for the market. We will have a continuous rally. The rally could last for three days, four days, five days. It will be a very, very nice rally, which we have not had. I just want to show you here. Do you see how we've been like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth? And if you don't know what I know, or if you're not trading in the trading room with me, you have no idea how to read this. But how I read this was that the market was strong. I've done several videos on this. I've talked about it. I've talked about it in the day of an anomaly on August 24th. But today gives me the confirmation that in fact the market's higher. And I actually wrote a definition I want to read to you. Hold on, let me find it. Yeah, there it is. Someone said today in the room that the market crashed. That's what they said. And I said, no, no, that we didn't crash. No, I'm gonna straighten the line here. And then I was thinking out loud as I was teaching in the room, okay, and I wrote it down because I wanted to define what I, Melissa Armo, consider a crash. And like everything else I figured out, including the stocks, which this is true. The definition of a crash per Melissa Armo and the stock swoosh is when the market sells off on the live day with volume and breaks the current uptrend in the live trading day, not in the gap. That is the definition of a crash, so that's not what happened, okay? And I have defined it. I have to really get like a dictionary with all these things on the website. Now, you can have a change in trend that happens in a gap 
that is called a corrective gap. However, that is not what happened in the market on the day of the 24th. The market did not change trends, even though it gapped down, even though it fell for five days, even though it gapped down 10 points and dropped 10 points and swooshed, the market actually was still in an uptrend the day of the August 24th. It had not done a corrective gap. If you want to know what that is, you have to take my trends class, by the way. But I will tell you, though, that we did not crash on that day. And I just define what a crash is. And, and we could have done that on the live day. And the fact that we didn't, the fact that we didn't, and we were so close to doing it, gives me the confirmation and conviction that the market is higher, which I actually already know and have predicted, <laughs> and have predicted very accurately. Why? How do I make these calls that seem like absolutely like, it's like going to the Oracle of Delphi, like back in the days of Greece and the Roman history. And you go to the Oracle and you say, Oracle, tell me, tell me, what is the market going to do? I need to know. And you come to the Oracle and then I tell you. It's literally some days it feels like that because of the fact that I make calls like today where I call the market long and it goes to the dream target. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I mean, I look at it and I'm like, and why am I not a billionaire? I mean, it's just like hilariousness. But I got to tell you, it gives me the confirmation and the conviction to keep trading. And not only that, taking more risk. You got to learn how to trade for me if you want to do well in the market. Because it's very challenging to make money unless you have your head on right. And a strategy that works. And have your brain loop going in the right direction. Which, by the way, I do. Look at the beautiful volume in the market. Yes, it was a holiday. We're through that. And we're going into the week. We'll see what happens the rest of the week with the spy is higher. And tomorrow morning, my prediction, me, Melissa Armo, in my opinion, is predicting that the market gaps up tomorrow morning over 200 or actually trades above it in the pre-market. Have a fantastic day, everyone. If you're interested in the Golden Gap class, email me and Melissa at thestockswish.com. The price of the class is increasing as of all October 1st. So you have until September 30th to sign up at the current price, but the class for September is this weekend. It's 19th and 20th, okay, if you want to do it. And then you can trade with me in the room because you have to be a class graduate to trade with me in the live trading room. And then you get my calls like I did today in the market. This is phenomenal. And I prefer to short than go long, which is what's really, really funny. Because the more I've been calling the market long, and, the, and I've told everyone, and I told everyone, I warned you, don't you think that the queen of shorts, if she saw, which is me, that the market was going to fall off a planet, I wouldn't say it? Of course I would say it. I would say it to the world, but it's not. And that's another reason why you should have the confirmation and 100% conviction that, in fact, the market's higher. Have a great night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.